it's Steffi at Um First of all, excuse the bags. I'm so tired. Um, doesn't matter how much I sleep at the moment. I'm sort of fatigued. Um, today I want to talk about the Osto Easy Vent from Respond. Now, I have a love of fizzy pop, fibrous foods, gas producing foods. Um, and I, so my store my balloons a lot and this is apparently supposed to it's an ostomy pouch venting system easy to open and close convenient and simple attaches to any pouch avoids accidents and lasts a lifetime of the pouch um, so you get two in a sample pack double o Steve helped me with the first one in case it went horribly wrong because um, you're cutting into your bag um, and it's the instructions are quite confusing um, contradicted itself a little bit it says attach vents to new pouch 24 hours before using but then at the very bottom of the instructions it says once the hole is made close the vent the pouch is now ready for use it's like ready for use now or ready for use in 24 hours um, I'm all about being prepared and having things like ready so unless that's what it is um, this it's just so confused <laughs> these instructions confused me it was quite clearly done with a two-piece bag because it says because the image I don't know if it'll focus stupid phone doesn't have a flap and two piece bags don't have flaps so that confused me because you've got to cut into the soft cover pouch but you only need to do that if you have a two piece and obviously if you have a two piece you don't really need to use a vent because you just pull apart the top bit and then it'll vent so um, when I worked out that um, it was a lot easier to work out um, so we're going to do it together so hopefully I can do it with my hand like up here but we'll see um, the hole will need to be cut on the side of the pouch opposite to where the opening is and ideally towards the top of the pouch usually near to where the filter is situated once your hole has been cut in the soft cover material you can proceed to step 2 so we're going straight to step two. Placing the vent on the pouch. You peel the backing from the vent tape. Do not touch the sticky surface. So that is this bit. Um, open the vent. It is open. They come open. Um, but I will, you literally, before I put them, click it in place. And these two little flaps here, press it you're supposed to be able to press them down and it pops open which it does um you know just typically it's not going to do it for me right now so let's peel it off concentration tongues come out right so my filter's up here so let's see if i can see it whilst it's on the And I'm going to put mine there. Yeah. Then you just press it all down. Make sure you get a good seal. Because um, let's face it, you do not want it not to have a good seal because you're going to be putting a hole through into your bag. Which is terrifying <laughs> at the thought because, you know, it could leak, whatever. Um, that's firmly all around making the vent hole in the pouch now what I learnt is ow, um, it's easier if you cut your stoma hole first and surprisingly I only have my sharp needles I don't have uh, needles scissors um, 
and I'm always worried I'm going to put a hole through my bag because I've done it before. My stominus, well one of them prefers these types but she's had a lot more practice cutting holes into bags than me. So we have my hole, that's about right. Now what Double O Steve suggested because he's a clever clogs when I first did it, I cut up there just so I could see what the hell I was doing, so I knew what was going on. Um, and even though I'm the only person seeing that aesthetically, it's not pleasant. So, what he suggested was just moving your pouch till you get the vent there. Because the next bit is, once the vent is securely bonded to the pouch, pull the top of the pouch to where the vent is attached down through the storm opening, because, you know, that's exactly what it says, so double, double O Steve was just smart, because he read the instructions. Um, until you can see the outline of the shape of the vent, insert the narrow blade of a pair of scissors. Um, don't stab yourself, because I've literally just done that again. Through the vent opening, twist the scissors back and forth to make the hole the size of the vent opening to allow the air to escape easily. Right. Some reason I don't think. Well, it has stuck. I just don't know what. Where's my hole? Where's my bag? Right. Okay. So I'm not going to do it like that because if I do, I'm going to break it. Stop. So that's literally it wind back and forth. Now when I did it the first time I obviously didn't do it very big enough because I found it very hard for it to pop out and such. I still don't feel like it's right. I don't know, it'll be fine. Ugh, back again. So where's my original hole gone? Right, stab, 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 twist, twist, twist. Um, and then you put, you just take your thing. And close it securely. check to make sure that's all in because I'll be annoyed if I've wasted a bag I think there must be like a knack to them really but I also think I've now got a hole in my bag that I don't didn't want Excuse me. Still can't. Oh no. That's fine. These, um, they kind of have like a double layer to them. So, I think I'll be fine. Worst time will tell, won't it? If I end up having a leak because I've done it wrong. I think it's too fiddly. Um, I was very aware of them under my clothes um, cause it's quite because it's plastic it's quite hard you can see it there um, I also found that the they didn't work very well for me personally it took too long to release the gas um, I decided it's better off just either opening the spout at the bottom or just going to the toilet um and it bubbled up and if you have like liquidy or high output it just comes out with it if so if you've got more gas to output then it might be all right um i was also laid down when i did it um i think they're great they're gonna be great for some people i just 
don't see why they're necessary for me um, so I won't be using them again but you feel totally feel free I'll put down the link that you can order the sample from um, in theory the product is great and loads of people swear by them and I just but I just don't see the point in putting another item on my prescription when the NHS is already like struggling um, but yeah if you want to try them definitely try them they may work perfectly for you and they may sort out your ballooning issues they just didn't for me and that's fine because it's not a one size fits all um, but yeah so I've been Steffi at Collect Lost Me reviewing the Off Store Easy Vents from Respond and I'll see you later. Bye.